And welcome back. On Father's Day, Ryan Lancaster found a group with an explosive hobby. They enjoy creating firework displays. At parties on the green near Quincy this past weekend in celebration of Father's Day, there was music, there were hot air balloon rides, and there were dads playing with kids. Oh yeah, and there were the explosives. Parties on the Green hosted the third annual Father's Day Explosion on Saturday, June 15. The fireworks display is put on by members of the Northwest Pyrotechnics Association. Formed a couple years back, the MPA now has more than 120 members from across the Northwest. They pay yearly dues to take part in group events and network with fellow fans of the pyrotechnic arts. Al A. Stryker was the club's second official member and a VP. I mean, really, these guys were all getting together even since the late 80s. So it's not that we're really new, it's that we just resurrected a bunch of different entities under a new banner. The group prides itself on safety. They have their own ATF license, insurance, and local permits for events, and a state licensed lead pyro oversees the setup and orchestration of every display. What's amazing is the diversity and the experience among our members. I mean, there's always something new to learn. Somebody can teach me something any day. Some group members build their own fireworks. Others, like A Striker, like to use commercial products. I like to set up the shows, fuse it, choreograph it. Uh, sometimes we put it to music. One of the club's newer members is Max Cito, who was celebrating his one year NPA anniversary on Saturday. My very first shoot with the club was Father's Day last year at the club. That's so why I came here and I met Kent, the owner of the land property. And, um, I was here early. So he set me to work putting up the perimeter fence around the area. There's always a fence that's put up to keep the audience from getting too close to the fireworks themselves. The fireworks are constructed and fused in a members only area, again for safety's sake. We call this the staging area. Okay. We always want to do any fusing of the product, you know, putting the, the fuses on them before they're ignited and away from where any of the visitors might be or, or guests. So you have to be a member of the club even to be in this area, or you have to be, in this case, escorted by a member of the club. Cito had no prior experience with pyrotechnics, but learned what he knows with help from others in the club. And on Saturday, he set up his own rack of 100 shots. To, to me, the most fascinating thing is that in itself, it's very simplistic. You've got yourself a little tube of cardboard, and you've got yourself a few very common chemicals. You put them together, and you can make a beautiful display out of it. You can make fountains or rockets or whatever out of relatively simple stuff. Um, it could be dangerous if you use it wrong, but with the help of people that have been doing it for a long time, you learn to do it right, and it's fantastic. It's beautiful. The Parties on the Green venue is located about two miles southwest of Quincy off Adams Road, offering plenty of room for the boom. More about Parties on the Green can be found at partiesonthegreen.com. More info on the MPA is available at npaclub.org. For an extended version of this story, visit ifiber1.com. For i one News, this is Ryan Lancaster reporting. Thanks, Ryan. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this.